Hey guys and welcome back to this month's free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So again we've got five amazing assets, this time around it's the third person story adventure template, the pro instance tools plugin, stylized forest, underground subway and the modular low poly robots. So I'm going to be going over these five today giving a bit of an explanation in them, showing them off a bit and obviously leaving links in the description down below to where you can find them. So first off let's start with the stylized forest and I think this one's absolutely great. I love it, some nice low poly assets here to really just make a great level in your game. So you've got the starter kit pack of a stylized forest and the landscape material is also included in the pack. There's 36 unique meshes, 8 plants, 10 stones and 18 trees, log, branches and or stumps. They do have collision and they do have LODs as well and a min and max vertex count of 49 to 14,861 so that's not too bad. There's 7 materials, 19 instance materials, 34 textures, and the resolutions are 1K, 2K, and 4K, and it works on Windows and Mac. So again, I think this is absolutely great. It looks amazing, as you can see here, all the different assets that we have. We've got the trees, the grass, the flowers, the stumps, the rocks, the landscape material itself. All of it looks amazing. Next up, we've got the third person story adventure template. So I think this is heavily inspired by Life is Strange as I really get those vibes from it. And again, this is absolutely amazing. This There's so much no in tale. this to the Strange. point where you can make a full on story based game using this template. So it's a framework for creating story based games wow. with environmental interactions, dialogues and much more. So it's got simple focus on axes, inspection axes across 2D and 3D, collectible items note. and an I inventory system, collectible journal entries, dynamic sequence trigger actors, interactive NPCs with branching dialogues and consequences. So again, Just all of this is already in here, so even if you don't want to use this pack, what you can do is you can look at the code to see how they've done it. So you can get a brief idea of how they've done an inventory system. And the core features again are a fully functional third person player controller, pawn and animation blueprint, cinematic interactions using sequences, which again just makes it look really nice. So when the character's resting, when they're picking something up, anything along those lines an integrated interaction system with interactive actor blueprints, an interaction widget rendered in virtual 3D space with object occlusion, system and like interface for collecting and reviewing rest. journal entries and inventory items, full mouse and keyboard and gamepad support with dynamic input detection system, a sophisticated main and in-game menu with options for graphics, audio and gameplay, saving and loading your game into three different slots with additional progress information, integrated functions for easy level transitions with level streaming support, prepared localization support with a language selection in options menu, helpful extra features like footstep effects based on surface type as well. So again it's got everything that you'd need to make a story based game so you can just use this to get a nice head start within that wow. game. It's absolutely well, amazing. Been? There's 54 blueprints, the you can use mouse and keyboard or a gamepad, it is not replicated and it works on Mac and Windows. So again, I really kind of get a Life is Strange vibe from this. So if you've ever played that or seen it, you'll really know what this is like. And it looks amazing again. Works really well as well. It's very efficient, dynamic, and easy to set up to get it how you want it to be. And next up, we've got the Underground Subway. And so this is a collection of highly realistic assets, allowing the user to create a highly customizable and modular subway environment. So the texture sizes go up to 2K. It's got automatic collision, no LODs, 156 meshes with 28 mass materials and 200 material instances and 178 different textures. There's also 125 plus unique props to help set dress the scene, 30 plus modular assets used to build the infrastructure off the level and 35 plus grunge graffiti and, and decay decals as well to again just add that extra level of detail onto your level here too. So as you can see you can make a really great scene in your game and because it's all modular you can create your own unique thing as well so everyone can have the same pack and everyone get completely different results. And in this scene they've kind of set it up as an abandoned subway looking like it's in a zombie apocalypse or something like that but again you can do this however you want. Because it's modular it allows you to really just perfectly get it to how you want and to fit in your game perfectly as well. Again I think this looks absolutely amazing with all the different meshes, materials, props, the different details they've gone in as well, especially with the decals for the wall too. And as you can see as well, you might notice they've also used some dust particles in this level as well. Next up, we've got the modular low poly robots. And this is a set of controlled modular low poly robots with a multiplayer system built in as well. 
So like I say, it's got multiplayer support, thousands of possible robot combinations. It's got a playable demo as well, which you can see on screen here. It's got a low material count, which is good for efficiency and running it obviously. It's got a good robot physics interaction, can be used in mobile games, and it is suitable for strategies. The text resolution is 128 by 128, 1K and 2K for differing robots, and there are seven different animations. They are all in place as well. And as you can see, you can either play as the robot yourself, or you can have a robot AI, and you can drive it around, interact with it via physics, shoot guns, all this great stuff. And honestly, this is within itself a game, which you can of course adapt onto to make it your own game. So maybe it's going to be a kind of a robot wars thing, or just a robot is in your game somewhere, maybe it's an AI, a character, anything like that. But also, as the title suggests, it is modular and low poly, so it will work in any kind of game really, and again, you can customise it to get it set up unique for you. So it includes 8 types of weapon modules, 12 types of case modules, 10 types of chassis modules, and a universal sphere trace based movement system for all chassis as well. And when you start the game, you can also change all the different things, so which robot you want to play as, the colour of it, which gun it has, all that stuff, so each robot can be different, which is how you have so many different combinations that you can get, as they mentioned earlier. And finally, last but not least, we've got the Pro Instance Tools plugin, which when you really look at it and figure out what it's for, this is actually going to be a really helpful tool for a lot of people. So it's a set of tools to control procedurally generated placement of meshes or actors with easy and unified settings. So if you want to have a load of boxes in a corner of a room maybe to make it look nice and realistic, instead of having to place each one down individually going through a really long process of that, you can use this plugin to do that nice and easily and probably have it look better as well as it will be more dynamic and random than just you doing it. So the different types of instance you can have are circle, grid, path, path scatter and scatter. And as you can see on screen in these different examples, it will update automatically and dynamically to what you set it as to get it looking great and random, dynamic for the position in the level it should be. So it has an almost endless ways to place meshes or actors, self-explanatory unified settings, snapping and alignment to surface below, so again you can move it to where you want without you having to worry about doing it yourself, the instant switching between component types, static mesh, instant static mesh, hierarchical static mesh, and any other actor class, the ability to manage transform settings either per instance or for all at once, the controlled randomization using seed number, a quick access to pro instance types from new custom category in place mode, five pro instance types, lightweight, custom icons, can improve performance and reduce draw calls as well, is designed to be as easy to use as possible and can save a lot of time. So there are six different blueprints and six different C++ classes. It is network replicated as well, and it works on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android, and it should also work for other platforms, but I guess the ones listed are the ones they've tested. So again, this is gonna be a big time saver and can also just make it look better anyway, as it'll be more dynamic and more random than what you could do yourself. Plus, it just makes your lives a bit easier, so it really is an amazing tool which if you use correctly and utilize properly will really improve the look of the level in your game. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've gone through all of the different five assets we've got this month around for June 2021 and I think all of these are absolutely amazing. I think my personal favorite this time around is the third person story adventure template and let me know in the comments down below which one you thought your favorite was and which one you're probably going to use the most. So I hope you found this helpful with me just going through them explaining them a tiny bit and showing you my thoughts on them as well. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you did enjoy it and which one you're going to use. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.